if he proposed to me with some cheap ring, I think I'm not gonna marry him. I wanna make Anfisa happy, but I can't get her a ring that's gonna take me 50 years to pay off. Dude, why not? You're about to get married for a couple days. Is that not important to you? You're telling me that you don't wanna plunge yourself into lifelong debt over a two-day marriage? That's too much. No. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> yeah, I like her. <laughs> <laughs> You stay out of this, all right? Yep, we're doing this. Look, I know everyone already knows the story. It's a tale as old as time, and this is a big part of the 90 Day Fiance lore. George is a Hall of Famer. You gotta respect him and his commitment to someone that pretty much absolutely hates him. Can you imagine being kicked out of your own apartment multiple times and then apologizing for it? You know, it's one thing to go sleep on the couch, but she made this poor guy sleep in the parking garage. Now that's, that's a new one. Yes, definitely. Do you have like a dream ring? In mind? Yeah, I do actually. Do you have anything that's gonna uh, financially destroy this man? Because those rings are beautiful to me. Okay, oh, well, welcome to Beverly Hills. When I tell Anfisa I can't buy something, she's not really good at compromising. She's not good at it, or she's completely unwilling to do it at all. You know, there's a pretty big difference there, George. A silhouette that's really popular. Actresses like Blake Lively and so on, they have ovals. Oh, uh, what? Blake Lively and so now, on this had is this? A three carat oval. And just so you get an idea, this ring is going to be about $75,000. $75,000. Let me think for a second here. If I sleep in the parking garage for a couple weeks, instead of staying in a hotel when she kicks me out, I just might be able to afford this. Ryan Reynolds did this, and so can I. I love this one. You love that one? So How much is it? Let me take a look. So the retail on this is $300,000. Like, I was trying to pretend like he's considering it. Hmm, if I just reorganize a couple things, I might do get out of here. The thing about George is, I'm pretty sure he promised Anfisa that he had a lot more money than he actually does just to get her to come over here. It is also possible that he told her he was Ryan Reynolds. First, she kicked me out of bed. Then you kicked me out of the couch. Like, what was I doing to you? You pissed me off. I didn't want to be in the same apartment with you. You know, he could just say, it's my apartment, I'm not leaving, but then think about it. He wouldn't get a two-day marriage out of the situation. You gotta use your head. After our argument at the Russian restaurant, my head's been all over the place. You're basically saying that you're just dating me because I can buy you things. Yeah, that's kind of the idea there, George. You know, it's one thing when they're being lied to about this, but Amfisa doesn't really lie to him at all, from what we can tell. If I was ugly and fat, would you be dating me? How does one hear something like that and then continue with the marriage anyway? It's funny because this is the reverse of what normally happens. Usually someone's being lied to and the other person thinks they're telling the truth even though it's very obvious that they're not. In this case, Amfisa is telling the truth and George just thinks she's messing around every time she says something like that. It's hard being with somebody that thrives on a conflict like that. Oh shit, really? But I really want to have a rational conversation to find out where things stand. Well, have fun with that, man. What do you want me to do? to fix the situation. Nothing, I don't want nothing. This dude looks like he's been through hell. Every time they get into an argument, it always ends up being his fault and then it's back to the parking garage again. He sometimes goes to a hotel, but he can't always afford that because it turns out he's in a lot of debt, which he of course did not tell Amfisa about until she got here. And that's definitely a bad idea because you know that she's just waiting for a reason to get mad at him. You can't fix it. You can't fix stupid. But you know what can fix stupid? A $300,000 ring. If you go get that ring and come back here, I'll tell you what, you can sleep on the couch again. I think he doesn't really realize that it's hard to be in a foreign country where I don't know anybody except him. Oh, come on. You just took over the guy's apartment. Even if that is true, you are absolutely getting the better end of the deal here. You're not making it easy on this guy at all. I don't need your stuff in my apartment. I'm gonna throw it all from the window. Now she's even referring to it as her own apartment, so the final stage is almost complete. It would've been funny to get a scene where she's throwing all his stuff out the window and George is down at the bottom, like running around with a basket trying to catch it all. Things I have to put up with for love, do you believe this? Hey, is that is that green lantern over there catching shit in a basket? You say that you're gonna leave and this and that, like- Yeah, I'm gonna leave literally. because I'm tired of you. I want the money to book the flight back. Money? What money? You you have all my money. I'm down here hoping you don't throw my stuff out the window and you want me to pay for your flight home? Alright, fine, I'll do it. Okay, I'm coming with the money. Okay. She doesn't actually leave here, so I'm pretty sure at this point she was just bluffing. Alright, time for a nice little romantic date. Thank you. They don't look that good. 
So she just walks outside by herself, leaving him behind, and then just immediately complains about the food. Which means it's a pretty good date so far. It's going way better than usual. You like yours? You wanna try it? No. <laughs> it looks terrible. You don't take care of me. You don't feed me. You don't do nothing. <laughs> yes, yeah. I do. There's no winning here. I don't even know if Deontay would be putting up with this right now. George literally gives up his apartment for her whenever they get into an argument, and she's claiming that he doesn't take care of her. According to her, he said he was a millionaire, so I guess she was expecting an even higher standard of living. Last night it was late, and I went out and got you what you wanted. So? It's normal. It's not something you should be proud of. Wow, she seems like a lot of fun to be around. Honestly, I don't think at any point she says that George did something right. The closest he's gonna get is when she says, so what, that's normal, you're supposed to do that. I guess I guess that does mean you did something right. So what about apartment hunting? I can get some stuff done in the morning. Or now, or tonight, or I, I don't know, what do you want? What do you want me to say? I'll do anything, just tell me what you want me to do every minute of every day, and maybe this marriage can work. So you're not mad at me? I'm not gonna deal with it for much longer. George should find us a place. You can't ask her if she's mad. The answer is probably yes. And if you're thinking about asking that, then the answer is definitely yes. I don't have a clip of it, but the house they go to look at is unbelievable. And of course she's like, yeah, I love this. I would be happy here. All right, I'm sure everyone has seen this next part. George tells Amfisa that he's going out and he'll be back in 10 minutes, but then he took 30 minutes. This is a fatal error and totally justifies screaming like a demon from the pits of hell. <laughs> To be fair, he did try to go see a divorce lawyer by himself, but I'm not even sure if she knew that. I think she just thought he was a little bit late. What is the problem? I am coming back. I am coming back. Oh my god, what the heck are their neighbors gonna think? I feel like this entire show is just George taking deep, sad sighs. I decided to cancel and go back to Anfisa because she was just acting crazy. Wouldn't that be a good reason to proceed with the meeting, not cancel it? I find his use of the word decide to be pretty interesting. I'm gonna go in there and see what's going on and come back out. Oh no, that's not good. That is not good at all. You know what this means. Hey, at least she didn't throw all your stuff out the window. I consider that a win. All right, in this part, they're going to see if they can get a post-nuptial agreement, meaning they're already married by this point. She just found out that George is in some debt and she wants to make sure that she won't be held responsible for it. The only thing I want is on the agreement is about the debt and that's all. And I'm not gonna agree to anything else. She doesn't want to take on debt, but then yet yeah, spends my money. So what? <sighs> Hmm, I wonder if I could just try to reason with her. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try that. I'm agreeing to certain things. Nothing changed. I think you're too immature to, to know this. Oh yeah, you think I'm immature? What if I slapped you on the arm? Does that change your mind? So what? Don't smile at me like that. So at this point, all hopes of this marriage working out should be completely over. If you're getting hit on the arm by your wife at a post-nuptial agreement meeting, I'm just gonna go ahead and guess that it's not gonna work out. But George and I have been fighting a lot lately. Hopefully we get along today so I can pass my interview. Oh, come on. Do you know how low the chances are of that happening? Have they ever gotten along at all? Have you ever seen them get along? I've said before that the honeymoon period on these kinds of shows is usually around 15 minutes, but I don't even think it existed with this relationship. Hey. What? Where are you going? I'm going to get my wallet. Bring me my red back with my makeup! Well, that took about five seconds. I have to wonder, if he did have a lot of money and she was able to buy anything she wanted, would they really not argue at all? Would this really be a happy marriage? Can I have a key? Yes, you can have a key. Thanks, love you. He's not very punctual. Oh, he's not punctual. Okay, that, that totally makes sense. That's why this isn't working out. Yeah, come on, George, what the hell are you doing? Everyone knows that's how it works. She could find a way to blame everything on him, and it, it's actually kind of impressive. They're literally on their way to an interview right now to prove they're in love. Also, when she says stuff like, I'm gonna get my green card and leave you, for some reason, he thinks she's joking. Even though she jokes about it all the time, in the back of my head, I'm worried what happens after she gets it. 
What joke are you talking about, George? There was no joke. No joke was spoken. No joke was heard. <laughs> it wasn't fair for George to wait until after I moved here to tell me that he wasn't as rich as he told me before. He seems to have used the Danielle method. Wait until you get here, and then you start talking about how you're in debt. It's kind of weird how she handled the whole debt situation a lot better than when he was gone for an extra 20 minutes. Maybe I exaggerated a little bit to Anfisa about how much money I had, but I spent everything I had trying to impress her. Well, that was kind of dumb because she wasn't impressed at any point during this whole thing. And now you don't have any money, so she's definitely not impressed. All this stuff that you're saying is so stupid, doesn't make any sense, it's childish. So now that Anfisa knows that I'm in debt, I'm worried that she's gonna either leave me or put me more in debt. Well, she'll probably put you more in debt first and then leave you, so I don't know if I would use the word either. So I think by now, most people know how this story ends. Believe it or not, their relationship did not work out. And in 2018, George went to prison for a while for marijuana possession, but I believe they were already separated before that happened. They officially divorced last year. According to George's Instagram, it looks like he's married and has a child now, so good for him. And Fiza stayed in the United States and is now a certified personal trainer. There's obviously more I could have talked about with these two, especially when it came to the tell-alls, but to be honest, I didn't watch any of those seasons, so I wouldn't really be able to provide that much context, but it's okay because a new tell-all just happened. Guys, tell these? my husband what to do. <laughs> these brand new puppies. What's all these now? How do you like that? I don't think Angela ever stops yelling. I've had to skip through most of her parts at this point. I just can't take it. Anyway, though, that's the end of this video. So thanks for watching.